Hi guys, what we're going to be cooking today is a fantastic carrot and fennel risotto with uh, bay scallops and uh, smoked salmon. Absolute beautiful dish, easy to do, and I'm going to show you how you do it. So we're going to be using some carrots, garlic clove, some beautiful fennel, some bay scallops, beautiful, some Atlantic smoked salmon, some cilantro, Fresno chili, off a small onion, parsley to garnish, sour cream, parmesan cheese, some really good extra virgin olive oil, actually from Italy, beautiful. Arborio rice, vegetable stock. So there you go guys, beautiful clean flavors. So let's get started. So guys, what we're going to be making is a carrot puree for the risotto. Very simple. It's carrots, garlic, stock, and salt and pepper. Easy as that. Okay, so take the tops off. Peel your carrot. Then chop them. About an inch thick. Okay, get a small pot of boiling water and gently, no salt, and then gently just add your carrots. Okay, boil these until they're absolutely tender. So as you can see guys, it's pretty tender there. So what we're gonna do now is drain it and I'm gonna put it in the blender. Okay, so add the carrots to the food processor. Beautiful, nice and sweet they are. And guys, when you're pureeing stuff, always make sure that your ingredients is hot and then it'll become extra smooth. If it's cold, it's gonna become lumpy. Also, I've got a small handful of cilantro in. Next, put your lid on. Let's blitz that up. And gradually add your stuff. Okay, let's have a look at this. Look at that, beautiful. So tasty. Mmm. And carrots are so sweet. Needs a little bit of salt. Needs a touch of ground black pepper. Give that a mix. Absolutely beautiful. That'd be great in the risotto. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I just wanna finally dice my garlic. Okay, so I've got like a little pan on the heat, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some little bit of olive oil, not too much. And my garlic. I just wanna lightly flavor this oil. Okay, next add your puree. And this just gives the puree a nice hint of garlic. Okay, that's the puree pretty much done for the risotto. So I'm gonna have a little quick taste. Beautiful, and at the end I'm gonna add some sour cream to that. But that's beautiful. So we're gonna put that to one side, and let's get started on the risotto. Okay, first thing is just roughly dice your onion. It doesn't have to be perfect. Also guys, like I said, we're gonna be using some fennel. Beautiful little thing it is. Very aniseed -y. goes very well with fish. And uh, what I want you to do is keep these little fennel tops and uh, we're going to put them over for like garnish and stuff. That'd be beautiful. I'm just going to be using half of this fennel. I really don't want to overpower all the flavors. So what I want you to do is just thinly slice it like that. Okay guys, risotto. First thing you should know about risotto is everything needs to be warm, not cold. So make sure that your stock is warm, not cold. And you can make your own stock or use a chicken stock cube, but it's basically the stock that makes a risotto. So uh, bear that in mind, but it's entirely up to you. Okay guys, I've got a deep brim pan, excellent for risottos. So make sure it's pretty deep, the pan. All right, let's get started. Okay, things first, a little bit of olive oil, not too much. Add your onion and fennel. Give that a stir. 
And, and guys, risotto is about heat control. If it's too high, turn it down. Now what I want you to do is sweat these off for about five to six minutes. Okay, next guys, add your rice. About one handful per person. So I'm doing this for two people. Okay guys, give your rice a good stir. And at this stage guys, make sure that your heat is turned down, not too high, medium low, I would say. Um, because you don't want it uh, cooked on the outside and raw in the middle. Um, arborio rice, it's a beautiful starchy rice, it's beautiful. Short grain rice, classic for making Italian risottos. And it loves stock. So just keep an eye on the heat and you shouldn't go wrong. Okay, I've been stirring this for like five minutes. And before you add your stock in, some people add wine in, but I'm not gonna add wine in today. But what you want is you wanna try and see if your rice is translucent. And that's a good sign, that's what you want before you add the stock in. Okay, make sure that your stock is warm and just ladle in some stock. I've ladled in about three ladles because my ladle's pretty small. Um, but what you want to do is you want to stir it, and I mean keep stirring it until the stock is absorbed, and then you add more in it. And then you do this procedure until it all becomes nice and creamy and that starch is let out. Look at that, it's absorbed it, see? And if you notice now, that starch is being let out, nice and creamy. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add some more stock in, about three ladles. Okay guys, when your risotto is nearly done, last probably two minutes, add the carrot puree, give it a stir in, beautiful, okay next add some cilantro, and remember those fennel tops I was saying, get those in too, okay let's have a taste, mmm, it's got a slight bite, that's what you want. And if it tastes too chalky, then it needs more. But that's perfect, that's al dente. Nice slight bite to that, beautiful. Okay guys, now what I wanna do, I wanna get a little bit of color on my scallops. I don't wanna cook them all the way through. While my risotto is resting, I wanna get some color on them, some caramelization, and then just stir them in the risotto very, very gently, and they're gonna cook. Scallops in. A little bit of salt. Okay guys, now I've cooked my scallops about three quarters of the way through. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna finish them off in the risotto. So I'm gonna add them to the risotto. And I just wanted to get that caramelized and this will gonna add some more flavor. And just gently stir in the risotto. And it's done. Let's play it up. So there you go guys, my carrot and fennel risotto with uh, smoked salmon and scallops. Um, I think it turned out great. I decided not to use the sour cream, but you know, it was optional anyway, but you can actually use it if you want to. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some of this beautiful Italian olive oil. I'm just gonna lightly drizzle some of that on there like that. Let's have a taste, I'm dying to tuck in it. Get a bit of uh, parsley, a bit of smoked salmon, get a bit of scallop, a bit of chili. Let's have a taste. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
That is absolutely fantastic. Everything complements each other. I love the touch of chili there, that gives it a lovely little heat there. And uh, smoked salmon is very subtle. Um, it goes very well with the scallops and the cilantro really balances that salmon out there. Mm. Fantastic. Give it a go guys. Thanks guys.